Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am so excited to get into my singles collection with you guys today. I've been having a lot of fun just doing swatching with you guys. We did my highlighters and my bronzers and my lipsticks and now we're going to do some single eyeshadows. I don't think I can get through my entire collection with you guys today because that video would be incredibly long. <laughs> but I might just pick a certain color range um, to swatch with you guys today. I'm not sure yet, but for sure I want to at least show you my setup and just talk through some of my favorite stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. Today's tea of the day is this one from Sipping Streams Tea Company. And look, it even won an award. North American Tea Champion in 2012. Third place. So this should be really good. I haven't even tried it yet. I've got it just steeping. So this is the Organic Imperial Taekwon Yin Oolong. You guys know I love oolong. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to quick um, try it here and tell you what I think. Okay, I'm going to put up a video on the screen of it steeping because it's one of the prettiest teas to watch steep the um, oolong leaves are rolled up in tiny little balls, but then when they steep, they expand and become these giant leaves. It's really, really satisfying to watch steep. Mmm, flavor as expected. Very classic oolong. Kind of roasty, kind of floral. If you've never tried oolong tea, it's definitely in its own category. I highly recommend trying it. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So these little ones here on top, these are palettes that I have pre-made for myself. So in this one, <laughs> I put shades that are the oldest in my collection, ones that have been depotted from palettes and others are just kind of old and I wanted to work on them. Interestingly, these shades, like these are <laughs> looking so sad. <laughs> they got injured when I depotted them, sadly. These are from e.l.f. and Essence. I think I have one ColourPop shadow thrown in there, but the majority of these are from e.l.f. and Essence. And interestingly, whenever I try to dupe eyeshadow palettes, for some reason, like these shadows, get used constantly and I don't actually have other singles in these shades and I really really like them they're really fun they're really good let me just quick swatch these so this one is from the elf new classics palette that kind of dusty plummy color I get I use all the time when trying to dupe other palettes this one is more pink same thing like when I try to do like Charlotte Tilbury-esque type stuff I use that shade all the time same with this one here and I think all three oh no no these let me get my thoughts together here these two are from the Essence Salute Paris palette this is from the elf new classics palette so I use these a lot while duping anyway I'm gonna set this aside this is a little pre-made palette that I made for my shop my stash this month these are all shades that I did already swatch for you I might swatch them again in this video if I t choose to do purples or greens I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do but yeah I'll probably come back to this little palette so the way I have the rest of these set up in this mermaid fun one. I think I got this on Amazon. This is where I keep my colorful mattes. I don't have a lot of colorful mattes in my collection just because they're not something that I wear too, too often. And some of you will laugh when you see like this corner and you're like, that's not a colorful mat. And by colorful mat, I mean ones that are not black, gray, or brown. <laughs> So those are more in the purpley range, so that's why I have them in here. Some of these are Makeup Geek, some of these are Sydney Grace, some are depotted from old palettes. This is another one from an old Essence palette that I use constantly when duping other palettes. Let me just quick show you. Oops, I smudged it over there. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I use that all the time. The rest of my palettes here in this Flamingo palette, this is where I keep pinks. Sometimes it can be really hard to decide where to place a shadow in the pinks or purples or what, especially if it's a duochrome or something, but I try to keep it kind of generalized. So this is where I keep my pinky shades. Maybe coming back to this one in a moment here. Here in this large Sydney Grace palette, this is where <laughs> it's looking kind of empty right now because I made that those pre-made palettes, but this is where I keep my matte neutral shades. I gotta be honest, often when I look at palettes like the Biba, I instantly want it. And it's not just the B, but like that um, neutral palette by Mario that's really popular and others like even Viseart. I look at their matte neutral palettes and I'm like, yes, I need that in my life. And then I come and I look at this, especially with <laughs> these other shadows that I had taken out. And I'm like, well, no, I've got 
all the shades that I need, basically. So that's how I always talk myself out of those palettes, but yeah, I admire them from a distance. But this is my neutral matte palette. In this large Sydney Grace palette, this is where I keep my purples, and again, there's a bunch missing because I have a whole bunch in that other palette. Um, a couple of blues, and then my greens. And then in my last palette, this is probably my most used. This is where I keep my taupes, golds, kind of bronzes, yellows, we kind of get more into yellows and oranges and peaches down here. So yeah, I definitely reach into this palette, I think, the most. Maybe we should start here. I don't think I'm going to swatch everything in here, but I did have a request from someone to compare some Sydney Grace shadows, especially from up here in my taupe range. Let me quick wipe off my arm and we'll swatch some of those. This is all about just having fun today, you guys. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy swatches as much as I do. This is so much fun for me. Just to keep them safe, I'm gonna quick close this. Let's actually start here. This is one of the shadows that was mentioned. So this is Sydney Grace Somber because Sydney Grace does have a lot of shadows that can seem kind of alike, but they've all got a different kind of base in them. So Somber, gorgeous, very, very cool toned brown with serious silver going on in it. But when you blend it out, oh, it has a beautiful, beautiful undertone. So that is somber. Next from this palette, I have the shade Rover, which was another shade that was requested. So here's Rover. So you can see, looking at them in my fingers, they are very different. Rover doesn't have nearly as much silver reflect in it and it has a different base as well. Oh my goodness, so creamy. Oh, so pretty. Now that I've had those swatched out, you can see a little bit more of the difference between them there. All right, let's go into the big one. Let's do Frosted Morning next. Ooh, intense. I got a little bit too much on that. That'll be a fun swatch. These shadows are super pigmented. I did not need to pick up that much. But again, so creamy. Good grief. That is amazing. So there's definitely similarities between these shadows, but differences as well. Okay, so that was Frosted Morning. Let's do one of my favorite shadows of all time. Mine is looking very sad because I dropped it and um, didn't repress it super well, <laughs> but it still works. This is Tiara. I'm just going to use my pinky. I don't need a lot of it. Oh. Holy smokes. I mean, just look at that. Glorious. Tiara, I think, is still my favorite, but uh, which one was this one? Was it Rover? My second favorite, I think. Okay, now let's do some more similar ones. So this is the shade Biscotti. I was actually a little disappointed with this one. I was hoping it would be a little more taupey than it is, and I feel like it's just mostly silver. A little bit of a taupey base, but it's just very, very silvery. Next up, let's do Wondrous Night. Another very silvery one, but not the same as Biscotti. They're all the same, but different. Because he has a much deeper base than Biscotti does. Oh my goodness, so glorious. That is Wondrous Night. I have two more shades from Sydney Grace that are very much in that silvery, taupey area, but I think both of these were from Mystery Bags, and I believe both of them are not currently available, so yeah, I won't, won't torment you by mentioning those. So I think these are the ones I own from Sydney Grace that are all in that kind of silvery, chocolatey, taupey range. I think there are a couple more shades that are similar that I do not own. Do I need them? No. Do I want them? Yes. <laughs> so look th th looking at these swatched here, they look super intense, but I say this every time and I feel like it it's okay to repeat it, <laughs> that if you just use a little bit of these, they look like a cream eyeshadow on your lids. The bases of them have just beautiful, beautiful colors. So like for me, for instance, I normally wouldn't wear this super intense silvery dark shade all over, all over my lid, but when I blend it out with a fluffy brush, it's, it looks just like an expensive cream shadow. So yeah, and all of Sydney Grace's shadows perform that way. They're just really special. While I'm here in this particular palette, let's just grab some more interesting ones that I would like to show you. This is Hot Stuff, which is if you're more into a more warm toned 
<laughs> super fun one. There we go. I feel like swatched out on my arm there. It looks more, even more warm than usual, but I think it's just because of being next to all those super, super cool tones, but that's hot stuff. This one here is really interesting. This came in a mystery bag, but I do think they brought it into the regular collection. This is Peach Harvest. It is such a, it's one of those colors that kind of defies description. It has a super deep base and then an intense reflect. Trying to swatch it out here so we can kind of see the base pigment. See how it's got like green flecks in it, but it's also kind of silvery. It's kind of a more reddish base, reddish brown base. Yeah, that one's really fun. I already have eyeshadow everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, while I'm in here as well, let's talk about some of these from Glam Shop. I don't know if these are still available. Sometimes when I look on Glam Shop's website, I can't find these same shades. I believe this one is the shade Magic. And I really enjoy this kind of super soft, sparkly topper formula from Glam Shop. I actually had a wonderful subscriber send me a whole bunch of Glam Shop shadows, and that's where I got my Glam Shop collection from. But they are like, oh there, see how incredibly sparkly that is? They are truly glorious <laughs> when tapped over an eye look. So that's magic. This one, oh man, I can't remember that translation to English, but that's the Polish name. But this one might be one of my faves. Look at, oh, oh my gosh. These I do experience fallout with, so I tend to be very careful how I tap them on. Oftentimes I will use a glitter glue if possible, but just, well, that, that's kind of one of the formulas I don't mind a little fallout from. I mean, you're wearing, you have a very, very glittery eye when you're wearing those. But by glittery, I mean like tiniest glitter as possible. <laughs> They're so fun. Let's talk about another one that is like really, really intense, but in a totally different way. I think this might be the most intense like crazy sparkly eyeshadow in my entire collection. This is from JD Glow. This is the shade Unexpected. If you guys watch Lauren May Beauty, you've seen this swatched so many times. She loves to recommend this shade. And yeah, it's, it's pretty special. It has the most incredible shiny reflex going on and I barely picked up any. That is definitely a statement eye when you wear that one and it's pretty amazing. So here is one from Nabla. So this is the shade Water Dream and it's meant to just look like water on your eyelids, which I love a wet look. So, but this one, unlike some of the other ones I showed you, doesn't really have a whole lot of base pigment. It's just kind of sparkly. So that's Water Dream. Oh my goodness, look at all those shadows together. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> my entire arm right now. That's pure joy. <laughs> that's what that is. Oh. Honestly, swatching like this, while I still want new releases and, and older releases <laughs> and I still haven't picked up stuff like this, keeps me from buying all the things. I know I already have an epic collection in singles. Just wow, love that. I also wanna show you this one. This is another one from Glam Shop. That is its name. So this is another like super glittery, like wet looking topper, but it has like a yellow. Oh good, I hope it's coming through like, uh, like I'm seeing it here on camera, like a yellow reflect. And I don't often have people comment on my eyeshadow, but I do when I wear this one. People love this one. So again, with like a yellow wet look, like that just so crazy, right? Oh, it's so awesome. Love it. And I cannot visit this palette without mentioning this trio down here. This is from Kaja. This is the Orange Blossom Trio. And I feel like it has gotten more and more hype over the years, which makes me happy because they are another one of those super glorious, soft, fun, glittery top coat shades that are amazing one and dones. Let me get the rest of them here. I did depot mine since I, I figured I would just get more use out of them this way. That way I could mix and match them with other shadows. That's the Kaja Orange Blossom Trio. Mm, the middle shade is my favorite. I do not think 
it's doing it justice here. Man, I was not gonna swatch these up here because I did a whole video oh, sometime earlier this year where I decided to swatch all my taupe shadows. And so I did swatch like all of these. These are from NARS and I have some glorious shadows here from Nabla. Oh my goodness. Just let me quick show you the Nabla ones. <laughs> I can't help it, I love them. Oh, they're so good. Again, they look like cream on your lids. Aren't they amazing? This one is Entropy, and this one is Chemical Bond. Oh, I love them. And honestly, the NARS ones over here, uh, very similar. I did decide to just do the NARS. So this is Ashes to Ashes, Cashmere, and Lahore. Glorious. All right, one more look at this glorious arm, and I'm gonna switch over to the purple palette, I think. Okay, I have some in here that I know I just showed you guys in my shot my stash, but I want to show you again. <laughs> so this one is from Nabla, and this is the shade Ground State. I really love this particular formula from Nabla. I think they call it their bright formula. It's more than a satin, but less than a shimmer, and I feel like it just really accomplishes the whole cream shadow look, but in a powder. Really love it. Next, there's a classic here from Sydney Grace. This is the shade Troops. Isn't that great? It's purple with like a gold, gold flux going through it. Yeah, I think it's one of Sydney Grace's most popular shades. Okay, so now let's go into the rest of my purples. I'm trying to only swatch ones that are currently available. So I have like some Makeup Geek ones in here that are not available. This one from Sydney Grace is the shade Winter Garden. See the differences between those two? This has like a blue silver reflect while that one has gold. Next up, Sydney Grace, The Greatest Gift. That one's another one with like more gold reflect in it, but its base is more of a light purple instead of a dark purple. This is Glitz and Glamour from Sydney Grace, which I think came in a mystery bag, but I do think that it's now on the website. So I will swatch this one. This one is really intense. Whew. I mean, look at the silvery reflect in that one. It is crazy. And stunning. We have to talk about this one from ColourPop. This is Glass Bowl. For the longest time, like I waited for, I don't know how long for this to come in stock just because it's such a popular shade and I wanted to try it. It's beautiful. I love wearing this. So here is Glass Bowl. Man, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Eyeshadow everywhere. I want to show you this one from Glam Shop. This is another one of those that has like a wet look effect, except this one flashes purple. So fun. <laughs> Check it out. Ignore the smear of eyeshadow, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, so fun. And I know you guys are probably looking at this crazy one over here. This is another one from Glam Shop. That's its name. And it is a really amazing reflective shadow. Like, whoa. This is probably right up there with um, unexpected, but just, you know, purple. Oh, yeah, wow. Talk about mermaid eyes. I mean, come on, wow. I feel like these shades are the kind of shades <laughs> that if they were in palettes, you would hear people talking about them, just going wild for them. Since they're singles, they don't get talked about hardly at all, but they are magnificent. This is from Sydney Grace again. This is the shade Storm Cloud. Uh, actually, I don't know if this came in a mystery bag or if it's available or not. I guess we'll just, we'll go for it and swatch it. So pretty. This is the type of blue that I like to wear on like my outer corner. So beautiful. And then this one over here is actually depotted Natasha Denona shade. I got one of those five pans in my um, BoxyCharm a long time ago and, and I didn't like the palette, but I liked some of the shades. So I depotted them. This is the shade Mint Frost, which is more of like a top coat. I mean, it's pretty, but gotta be honest, it doesn't really hold up to Glam Shop, right? In terms of their incredible toppers. So a lot of these greens um, are no longer available because they were from Makeup Geek, but I do want to talk about this one real quick. Again, I have no idea if this is available, but this is from the brand Luxie. 
Luxie Beauty, and I was really excited to try them because their single shadows are very inexpensive. This is the shade Moolah, very pretty green, but I decided not to purchase any more from them just because their shadows really did not wear well on me. Like I felt like they melted off, but look how pretty that is. Like I haven't decluttered them because they're still really pretty. I just don't expect them to wear very well when I wear them. Yeah, and to be honest, it didn't swatch amazingly either. Like it picked up amazing on my finger, but didn't really want to go onto my arm very well. I have had it for a long time. Maybe it's starting to go off, I don't know. Anyway, so because of that, like I don't talk about or recommend Luxy. They just melt off my eyes, very sad. Here, for a couple of greens that are still available, <laughs> let's go back over to this pre-made palette of mine. This one is not available, sadly. That is an old Makeup Geek shadow. I absolutely love it. That's the shade Illuminati. Moving on, so sad. <laughs> so this is from ColourPop. This is the shade Tea Garden. This is such a fun one. It's like a yellow green, but it has great reflect in it. That's Tea Garden. And then I have another one here from Nabla, which again is in that bright formula. And I don't know if this one is still available. Last time I went and looked on their website, I couldn't find it, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is the shade Extra Virgin. I mean, look at that. Wow. Oh. So great. So I don't know, I've been filming for over 30 minutes now and we haven't even gotten to the pinks. <laughs> I might have to do that another day. But I just wanted to have some fun with you guys today, swatching out shadows. Sometimes I'll just do this by myself. <laughs> do you guys ever do this? Just get out your shadows and just swatch them for fun. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for joining me today. Oh, I also forgot to mention my very, very used family table. It's got like old nail polish on it from my toddler and all sorts of dings and scratches on it. When we bought this table, it was already, uh, what do you call it, distressed? <laughs> well, it's even more distressed now. <laughs> we definitely need to refinish it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys just hanging out with me today. Please share your favorite singles down in the comments, whether they be available still or not. It's just fun to appreciate our makeup that we already have. Let me know if you guys do want to see my pink eyeshadow collection, <laughs> my pink singles. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.